Hi everybody, this is Cyrus for iPhoneS.com. Today I'm covering a bunch of nice applications you can use to get more out of your stargazing app experience. Whether you want to explore the sky and find out about the objects or you just want to find the right time and right place to take your telescope and see different objects, these applications have you covered. Now before I get it started, we've already covered a number of awesome astronomy applications on iPhoneS.com. We have a bunch of lists on them, on that site. Also, we have reviewed a bunch of astronomy applications on YouTube, such as Solar Watch, such as Star Walk, Distant Suns, Go Sky Watch, Luminous. So we have covered all these applications and we've also covered all these four applications on YouTube. Now some of them we may have not posted yet and we don't actually have a set date for when each review goes live. We just post them, we we do a number of videos and then we post them as we, we get a chance. So they, they're not done exactly and, and posted in the same order that they've, they're have recorded. So you wanna be aware of that if, the, if some of these reviews are not live. But as far as these four applications go, First of all, Darkest Sky Finder, very nice application. It provides you with places, shows you places in your area that have the least light pollution. So if you want to go and explore the sky, but you don't want to deal with light pollution, you want to get take your telescope and get the most experience, the darkest sky with bright objects and providing you with the maximum opportunity to explore different objects, this application has you covered. You can get satellite maps, hybrid maps, you can see the pollution, I can hide it, I can show it, I can add dark sites, I can see dark sites, get information on it, edit, add review, add directions, uh, get directions, and all that. So dark sky finder for finding a place to take your telescope. Then there is the meter shower guide. It's a pretty awesome application. If you want to catch these uh, different events and you don't want to miss them. See, these are coming up. And let's say, you get the information, conditions. You can set alerts for your calendar. Get information about today, sunrise, sunset. You can adjust your location, you can put your catalog settings, you can go all the way to 2014, even go 2015. So you have a lot of events to take advantage of. I do encourage you to join Google Hangouts, Google Plus Hangouts, and there are a lot of awesome guys on the site doing videos, doing live coverage doing all kinds of events for people who are interested. So that's something to consider. So this was Meteor Shower Guide. So Dark Sky Finder, Meteor Shower Guide, cover both the location, the events. Then we have the Scope Nights. Scope Nights is important because it tells you about the weather when you're taking your telescope. Shows you whether it's good, bad, poor, fair, conditions, party cloudy, speed, humidity. You can use your current location, you can add different locations. So that's scope nights. Very simple, just gives you weather for people who want to take their telescope out and explore the objects in the sky. The last one is my favorite actually, it's a sky guide. It provides you with guidance as far as what you're looking at in, in the sky, the objects, provides you with background information. It has sounds, it has great graphics, it has music. It can work even if you don't have internet connection. It doesn't need digital compass. It doesn't. It's not compatible with the iPod Touch. 
You want to be aware of that. Background information with links. When I tap on that, it's going to take me to that object. Orion. So let's go. Let's try Sirius. Let's go to the sun. I can also search for objects and get readings like that. That's Mars. It even has li link to Wikipedia. So if you want to get more information on that, but it also has information on Mars as far as Ascension, Martian day. You can turn these options on and off. So it's very important. So these four apps, we've already covered this in another review. So you can go and watch that. It co covers it in more detail as far as features that it has. It's a pretty neat application and you really need to be outside to get the full brilliance of an application like this. But so as far as these four applications go, Meteor Shower Guide provides you with events, Meteor Shower events that are coming up. Dark Sky Finder shows you dark areas with less light pollution so you can go and actually explore the sky with your telescope. You can actually see more objects. Sky Guide shows you what's in the sky. It provides you with guide to, even if you're not a master in astronomy, you can actually get an idea of what you're looking at and find out more information about the objects. And Scope Nights is a weather application that helps you figure out which days are great and which days are maybe rainy and not great to take your telescope out. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, more astronomy apps, please go to iphonenest.com. If you like this video, please rate it and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching, guys.